Hello everybody and welcome to part 1 of forming the Mongol Empire, as this person suggested. I'm going to split this into two parts because this is a really difficult and time-consuming challenge. Like, subscribe and enjoy. So we are starting by making the hugest coalition war we have ever declared on this channel. On Russia. We might be looking pretty as asterisk XC right now, but these provinces we have claimed are pretty much worthless. Let's try to get all the required lands within Russia we need by all means necessary. Do we even have to occupy all of Siberia in order to establish a peace treaty? Well, now we are a long 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 boy. We just need to release some territory and we go after China. Latvia is humongous lads. Jeez Louis. And just take it in that I made them declare war on Russia. Flipping. Nobody heard a thing, chush. Drop the nuke nuke boy. Time for war. Asia is a mess. Where is China's army? This is super facile. Well, it seems like a free China is going to be given to us with pleasure. We have to be careful because in Beijing there are going to be many troops and we barely have a worthwhile army to begin with. Oh no, here they come. Please sign a peace treaty. We are bankrupt and almost disarmed completely. Looks like we are managing the situation. But are we going to hold? With the help of Vietnam, it looks as if the future is going to be brightly secure. And they have perished. What an epic comeback that was from Mongolia right there. Quality stuff. And the peace treaty has been signed. Should we attack Russia again now? Or move on to Kazakhstan? Looks like it's a Russia. Look at Latvia my god. Well, this is going to be a piece of cake as well. What's going on lads? Looks like it's a keep fighting. Oh no, none of the islands have ports. We are going to have a great time going island hopping. Okay, finally. Let's sign this goddamn peace treaty already. I forgot a province so you- How can I forget a province my god? Anyways, next nation to fall. Well, bye bye China. For good this time. Hopefully India stays distracted. I don't want to fight their 100.000 troops plus. As I feared it. India you son of- OMG I am going to go insane. India, prepare to get wrecked. Okay, we didn't really get anything from that. So what do we do now? Well, I said that a bit late cause we are already at war with Russia. And that will probably conclude it. Let's go after the Stan countries next and end today's episode. So Kazakhstan first. I reckon this is going to be more difficult than I imagine it to be. So we're lining up and getting ready to strike first. Nuke boy, prepare the nuke. That was quite catastrophic. Anyways, it looks like we are the bigger favorites for this one lads. Also, I forgot to mention. They have 10.000 troops in their capital are you kidding me right now? Looks like we are getting through this one boys. And there is the peace treaty. What is Bhutan doing my god? Anyways, we are going after Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan and ending this episode at last. We do have some worthy issues I must say in the east. Bhutan is wrecking my- Anyways, we have to attack Uzbekistan again unfortunately. But let us deal with Bhutan first, they've been rather annoying for quite some time now. Guys, we are almost halfway done. It just sounds silly because I have spent almost two hours at this and we are not even halfway. We also have to invade this gory looking Kazakhstan, I forgot about that. Let's go lads. Almost finished. 
Kyrgyzstan, I know you love us, but you have to go. And that's the end of part one of forming the Mongol Empire. Like and subscribe if you are new and I will see you in part two. Peace.